Every year I try to grow as a player and not get stuck in a rut. I try to improve my game in every way possible. But that trait is not something I've worked on, it's part of me. I've liked football since I was a kid, and I've always dreamed of becoming a professional footballer. I never thought of any other job. I never think about the play or visualize anything. I do what comes to me at that moment, instinct. It has always been that way. I'm always proudest whenever I've been part of a trophy winning team. Lifting a title makes me feel so happy because it's what I want to do in football, be successful. Something deep in my character allows me to take the hits and get on with trying to win. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing a happy and smiling child. I always help in any way I can, even if it's just by signing an autograph. A child's smile is worth more than all the money in the world. When the year starts the objective is to win it all with the team, personal records are secondary. Being a bit famous now gives me the opportunity to help people who really need it, especially children. Everything that's happened to me in my career has been special, even the tough times because they leave marks on you that shape your life. I don't need the best hairstyle or the best body. Just give me a ball at my feet and I'll show you what I can do. I start early and I stay late, day after day, year after year. It took me 17 years and 114 days to become an overnight success. I'm lucky to be part of a team who helped to make me look good, and they deserve as much of the credit for my success as I do for the hard work we have all put in on the training ground. It takes sacrifice as well as talent. My ambition is to always get better and better. This is much more than I dreamed about as a boy. I want to thank football in general for what it has given me. Whether it's a friendly match or for points or a final or any game, I play the same. I'm always trying to be my best, first for my team, for myself, for the fans, and to try and win. Being named among the best at something is special and beautiful. But if there are no titles, nothing is won. Football has been my life since I was a kid. My style remains the same. I love every single minute I get on the pitch. I know I have a great responsibility and that there are objectives to accomplish. But I try to have fun too, because that's what I love to do. I still have a lot of room for improvement. For example, I want to shoot equally well with both feet. I'm never satisfied, I always push my limits, and I always try to get better every day. The best decisions aren't made with your mind, but with your instincts. Day-to-day -day motivation isn't a problem for me. I have fun like a child in the street. When the day comes when I'm not enjoying it, I will leave football. I try to use pressure to help me in every game. Pressure helps me do things to the best of my ability. I like it. I don't feel pressure, quite the contrary, because I always enjoy what I'm doing and that's playing football. I'm not the sort of guy who shouts and screams before a match. It's an honor to be recognized like that, the best player. But Barca is not just Messi. Barca has very good players. On a personal note, I think it won't be until after I've retired that I'm fully aware of what I've done or what I've gone on to achieve in my career. You cannot allow your desire to be a winner to be diminished by achieving success before, and I believe there is room for improvement in every sportsman. Every time I start a year, I start with the objective of trying to achieve everything without comparing it to how I've done in other seasons. I am competitive and I feel bad when we lose, 
You can see it in me when we've lost. I'm in a bad way. I don't like to talk to anyone. I want to be world champion, but not to change the perception of others towards me or to achieve greatness like they say, but rather to reach the goal with my national team and to add a World Cup to my list of titles. I've always really just liked football, and I've always devoted a lot of time to it. When I was a kid, my friends would call me to go out with them, but I would stay home because I had practice the next day. It doesn't matter if I am better than Cristiano Ronaldo, all that matters is that Barcelona are better than Madrid. Some people say my style of play is innate, but I'm not sure if that's me or not. Honestly, I do play on instinct. On the pitch, I'm always looking for the best move or decision at any given time. I never want to do what the opposition would be expecting. There are more important things in life than winning or losing a game. You have to fight to reach your dream. You have to sacrifice and work hard for it. 